Hello peeps, it's the AG Collector 101 here, and today we're going to be reviewing something much smaller. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Emily mini doll from American Girl. Um, I got her for my birthday. She cost $24, as um, the same with the other mini dolls. She is my third mini doll. I also have Julie and Molly in mini doll form. Anyways, I don't have the box. Um, well, I have the box right here. Let's see. But they just come in normal little doll boxes. I really wish for the historicals that they would print their names on them, on the boxes. But I guess that would be more expensive. And then it, instead of paying $24, we'd pay, we would pay $30. Like, whenever I get $24, I wonder, do I want to spend it on a 6-inch doll? Or do I want to spend it on a 12-inch Monster High doll? Yeah, that's kind of unreasonable. Anyways, so first of all, here's her little um, book, Brave Emily. I love how these little books are hardcover. Um, this book goes a little bit, uh, let me see here. I believe if I... Okay, let's see what this book is. Here. Oh my gosh, this book goes a little bit ch past chapter four. That is a lot. Like, it goes almost past chapter four. A little bit past, uh, yeah, just to chapter four, because it's average, but that is a lot for a mini book. Like, I think Julie's book only goes to, like, chapter two. So, maybe it's, like, the newer, um, the newer, oh, sorry. I'm trying to do some, <coughs> I'm trying to get out my mini Molly book to compare. Where are my mini old books? Oh, Desert. Here we go. Let's compare. So as I said, I have two other mini dolls, and I also have this book that came with the doll school activity set. The one right up there. Anyways, so here's Meet Rebecca from the doll school set. This is paperback, obviously. And let's see here. This goes to chapter 3. This goes a little bit past chapter 3. This is the Mini Molly book. I also believe, oh yeah, so, um, Brave Emily, her book is a bit darker, if you can see that, and, um, I think the spine's a bit different. Maybe that's just because I've used this book a lot. I have only had Mini Emily for about a day or two. Anyways, Mini Molly goes to chapter, I think it's chapter 4, right? Oh, yeah, a little bit past chapter four, so Mini Molly. So it looks like about, um, and then Mini Julie goes past chapter three. Okay, so it looks like, um, most mini doll books go to, um, at least chapter four or chapter three. I don't know, I would have to have a bigger, like, um, collection of these mini books. I love these, they are perfect doll size. You can see here. So your dolls can have dolls. <laughs> Anyways, well let's get into the actual review. So here's Emily. She has her um, ginger red hair. Uh, it is rooted. Um, it's really nice quality. Like, it sta pretty much just stays like this. Um, it's not really cut that... It's cut okay, but you can see that there's a bit of, like... Um, there's a bit of zigzagginess in the strands. Anyways, her headband is a ribbon, and it has three flowers, um, I guess that's sort of accurate. Here, I will go get the, um, I will bring out the larger headband to compare. Let us compare. Let's probably make it look a little Oh gosh, okay, I'm doing this the exact dangerous way. <laughs> Woo! Danger! I'm sorry. If I'm wasting your time, go and click on another more professional review. Anyway, so now I realize that Emily's headband is in the Captain Headbands box. 
anyways, so here is Big Emily's headband. Um, Mini Emily's headband is very similar. It's made of ribbon, so I do not recommend untying this. Like, I untied Molly's braids, and they've never been the original since. So I'm not going to take this out, but it is tied with an itty bitty bitty ribbon. Let's see there. Oh, what? Hmm. It looks like she has a little mark on her. I don't know if that's from me or the company. Okay, apparently she has a little mark on her ear. I don't know who that is from. Anyway, she has her normal little painted face line eyebrows and then here's your little dress it's basically a um a copy of the original dress except the bow is different because now um this is a different pattern and it's a bit darker because i know that the ribbon is the same color as the headband on her dress that made no sense at all but as you can see they're a bit different it's a bit of a different shade it looks like they just couldn't bother to use um like this ribbon or whatever Anyways, there's still a tiny little pew pan collar. I am amazed at these mini dresses. Here, let me get mini er big Emily's dress. Let's see here if I can actually do this. Whoop. 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 <laughs> Anyways, but here is big Emily's dress. So, um, you can see. So here's the big ribbon and the little ribbon, so there's a little bit of a difference. Um, I don't like the sleeves though, because if you notice on these dr on this dress, the sleeves are puckered. On this dress, the sleeves are not. I mean, I guess they have a little bit of like, um, I don't know what you call that, like pleating or something. But, um, it sort of went extreme here. I mean, I get that it's a small dress, but either don't, either pleat it right or don't pleat it at all. Oh, that's a goodness. It does have elastic, though. I don't know. I, I don't think they did a good job recopying the dress. Because on Mini Molly's, on Mini Molly, there's, like, not that many differences. On Mini Emily, there are, like, a lot of differences. And then the dress just Velcros. Oh, please don't say. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So on Mini, Mini Emily, the dress Velcros, but... You see, um, there's this ribbon, and they basically, um, tied it in a nice neat bow, and then sewed it on to the dress. That is a very bad design, because now, you can cut this ribbon off, untie it, and then never get it back to its original form. I don't like that, because on Big Emily's dress, you can see here, if I unvelcro it, the ribbon is just, like, um, tied and sewn to the dress but it's like separate so you don't have to tie it. That was a smart design. Ah, anyways, so here's some little shoes. They're very inaccurate. Um, Big Emily's shoes are T-straps and these are regular Mary Janes. They're pretty much identical to Molly's. Um, and she has her little red socks. Adorable as always. And yes, I'm showing you this. Here are her bloomers. I really wanted to get her before the mini dolls um, revamped. Uh, she is $24 from American Girl. Although, if you go into the American Girl website and go to Molly's Books, you won't find her there. You have to go to the search bar and type Emily Mini Doll. Uh, why that is, I don't know. I guess it's just because Molly and Emily are retired now. She can move just like a standard doll, so you can move her head, her arms, and her legs. So she can do everything the big dollies can do. And, yeah, these dolls make perfect little companions. And really quickly now, I will show you some of my other mini dolls. So, let me stay here. Oh, for those of you wondering, yes, I do have big Emily. She's just in the back in the back. She's behind the scenes. I'm afraid that you guys can see my socks. I'm sorry. Anyway, so here are my other two mini dolls. I have mini Julie and mini Molly. I lost one of mini Molly's socks. <sighs> anyway, so as you can see, this is what happens when you take her braids out. 
and it's like you can't really get it back into the original form. I really wanted another Mini Molly doll, but Mini Molly is not available on the AG website anymore. So um, I suggest you get the mini dolls that you want. If you don't want to pay $24, there are um, mini Caroline, Marie Grace, and Cecile are all on sale for $12 each. So that can sort of get you like a two-for-one deal, I guess. Ooh, you know, that's a two-for-one deal. So if you wanted to get both um, Marie Grace and Cecile, or even just all three of them, it would probably only cost... It would only cost like $36 instead of like 48 instead of like $60. Anyways, overall I would totally recommend Mini Emily so long as you don't untie the headband or take off the dress. Because those are, like everything is very fragile. If you take off this headband, you won't be able to get back on. That's kind of annoying. Anyways, but I love her. I love her to pieces. Anyways, but, um, oh, and also, I noticed that, um, my big Emily has sort of like a slight curve on her hair, sort of like a slight bob, but this Emily, the hair is just cut straight. You can see that the machine isn't really, it's good, but not that good, because, um, yeah, that's kind of an issue. But, um, there are rumors of the historical character being revamped, and when the historical char characters revamp, uh, when the line revamps, then the mini dolls will revamp too. So if you have any mini dolls you'd like to get, then I suggest you get them now. Although, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really like, oh my gosh, I have to get the mini dolls. I'm more worried about the books. Because the books, I don't really like the new illustrations. Uh, you can read, you can not read, but you can, uh, hear my thoughts about that in some of my other vlogs. And reviews. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Goodbye.